Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at introspective hypnosis, specifically Toby's sessions that we have done way back at the beginning of 2021. The reason why I was delaying releasing these videos, I realized there was a whistling sound in the background. Hopefully this is not going to be a big distraction for you and you'll be able to understand what is said. We are starting with a part that I call anchor. His conscious mind was telling him at times of pause in his life and that is something bad. It's like a break, it's like a blockage. But when we go to trance and our subconscious speaks to us, we realize that our conscious mind sometimes likes to twist things around. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, have you done mm. hypnosis before? Have you tried it before? No, that, no, that was the first time. So um, obviously you get the, the picture of hypnosis in your, your mind, like there's a, the, the thing dangling in front of your eyes and then you're out of control, but it wasn't like that at all. It's almost like your consciousness has stopped, but your unconsciousness is talking. That's the difference. So um, you just allow your unconscious thoughts just to come through. But you're aware where you are, but you're also aware of your um, your subconscious. That's that's how I describe it. Even though you said that I'm the one that's do the work, but you sort of you you do gently guide me. So it's like okay, what what are you seeing, or what's the next step, or to retrieve some of that information. Yeah, that's what I liked about it. Yeah. I like and, a lot about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I love all that stuff. <laughs> but I'm I think glad. Uh, whoever, anybody who's having it, I think it's just to just feel relaxed and allow your subconscious just to play, play through. Yeah. So it's you know when life's just hard and you feel chained up, you know you can't escape, and everyone else's life seems to be moving, but you think, why am I? Where's my life sort of trapped? So I felt this anchor, this weight on my chest, and I just saw it deep in the, the earth, you know, under the water, and I saw the chain. I just felt restricted. And then it was then I experienced the ground changed, and it, instead of, you know, just sort of like um, sand and rocks, the pebbles became white, and I noticed that the chain was just straight, and I just was talking it through my mind, and I just had the image of, oh, it's actually strong and it holds things in place. And it was the realization that these restrictions were actually in place for me to stay strong, keep safe, and you know, have protection. So sometimes we look at um, restrictions as a problem or a hindrance, but actually sometimes they're there to help us, you know, going beyond. Sometimes if you've got a lot of energy, you go beyond the boundaries, it's not, it's not good for you. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, that that change of mindset was quite powerful. Why well, is making you feel afraid? I I just got this image of this anchor dropping to the bottom of the ocean, just heavy anchor, and being yeah. stuck there. What else do you see around you? Are you connected to that anchor? Just feels heavy. Where is it on your body? Where that heaviness lies in your body? I feel like the anchor's being put on my chest. Yeah, I don't want it on there. Look around you. Where, where are you? What's happening around? Just boring. Just feels time's just still. Very good. What happens next when you're looking at that anchor? Does it touch the bottom? Yeah, it's stuck in the ground. But the more I feel, it's more... It is changing, even though the anchor hasn't changed. It just feels that it's more peace there. Because with the anchor, there's no movement. And actually, even though it's bore, you know, what I thought was boring is actually just simplicity. What does that represent to you in your own life? This actually sort of takes away the 
any effort. I don't have to do anything. Very good. And it's a, it's a strong anchor, so it's like it's meant to be there. And it's just not, it, it feels like it's spirit. It's not just, it, it's meant, it was put there for a reason. How does your chest feel like now? Is it still it heavy? Feels, it's, no, it feels different. It feels different. But I can feel back to my life is like, when that anchor was there, is there was a lot of heaviness in me and a lot of frustration in me. And it was like it was chaining me, probably to stop me doing something stupid. It's like the stones are sort of light, whiter colour. Mm -hmm. And the anchor's there, but it's, it, it just feels different. It doesn't feel like heavy metal, but it's, it's more, instead of being, oh, I feel like I've just got an answer. Instead of feeling heavy, the metal's heavy, it just feels strong. Very good. I don't get a sense of metal, I just get a sense of it being strong. Replace that heaviness with strength in your yeah. chest. Put your both hands on your chest and implement that energy of strength and peace in your chest. Do you feel like there is anything that needs to be removed from your chest? Any tiny heaviness that's left there? No, it feels like I'm just doing that. It's like opening out. Open it like, up. Like that, like, oof. Instead of, like that, it's just like, oof. Take light from the universe and direct it straight to your chest. And it comes in peace and strength together. And tell me when you feel like you fulfilled your whole chest area with that energy of strength and peace. I'm just saying sorry. I feel sorry. Who are you saying sorry to? I'm saying sorry to the spirit for not letting them in. I'm sorry to myself. Very good. It's all yours. I, 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 I get the word acceptance. Does it feel easy to accept all that energy that all the time belonged to you, but you just saw it a bit differently? Does it feel like it's peaceful to accept it now? It is coming in, but it's not a rush. It's just a natural softness. So it's just like, it just feels calm. It has its own pace? Mm -hmm. Because there's, there's no rush for it. Because that energy, it, it doesn't have to be rushed because it's just, it has patience itself. I just get the, the word endless. So it's just going to be an endless flow through me all the time. 